Girls, bring my guest over here and tighten those straps. Lexi. Incinerate their clothing and dump their car in the pits. Karina, follow Lexi and when she is done, head over to my guest's home and tear it apart. I want to make sure there's nothing left behind that could prove to be challenging. Yes, burn it down. Tamara, crack these devices. I want contact, social media, financials. I want everything. What are you still waiting? Now go! Well, 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 of all the idiots who thought they could take me down, it had to just be you. <laughs> Don't you recognize me, darling? I know I'm not blonde anymore, and with a little cosmetic work, even a fool like you can see my eyes are still the same. You even used to tell me how beautiful they are, deep as the ocean. <laughs> oh, there we go. But it's Baroness Roth to you, darling. You lost the privilege of using my first name some time ago. Oh, no, no, no. You are going nowhere. You will want to save that energy for later, and besides, an army could not escape those restraints. <laughs> I always have plans, and I always win. And I see no reason for changing that approach now. So yes, I have plans for you. Especially for you. All in good time. <laughs> for now, I thought we could catch up. It will be like old times. And you know I have always enjoyed a captive audience. All the difference is, I don't do safe words anymore. They provide unnecessary limitations to a creative mind. Oh, come on now. You used to love it when I had you all tied up and under my control. I love to watch you squirm. <laughs> I would offer you a cigar, but given your current state, that would be such a waste. Now, while you and I are catching up, my girls are taking care of some loose ends for me. You remember Tamara, right? Oh, she remembers you. Well, she sends her love to you. As for Lexi and Karina, they were a little upset that I wanted them to bring you in alive. They have been wanting to thank you in person for the trouble you created with that series of articles you published. But I promised them that they will have time to play with you. <laughs> I thought 
you know me better than that, darling. I am not a woman to hold grudges. Especially when I have so many devoted followers who are more than willing to correct any attempt to discredit my good name. You should thank me. If I hadn't arranged your capture, you would be having to beg for your life at the hands of a complete stranger. No, I have no plans to kill you. On the contrary, in fact, I want to offer you a job. <laughs> You really are in no position to deny me, darling. Since your attempts to undermine my organization, I have legitimized my operations. All those silly charges against me were dropped, as you know. And since that awful mess, I have been able to flex my influence upon many many of the city's most prominent figures. It's not difficult in these days, even as a wealthy woman such as myself. Being wrongly accused does have its mm, advantages. From public enemy number one to everyone's favorite aristocrat, and... All thanks to your futile attempts at social justice. Let's just say those on my payroll allow me the freedom to remain free from suspicion, and in return, they now have the kind of success they only dreamt of. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> You want me to let you go. But darling, if I were to do that, where would you go? Your home is currently engulfed in flames as I speak. And as for your career, <laughs> well, your boss is a very dear friend of mine and has confirmed that you are no longer office-based. And from now on, We'll be working from home. <laughs> well, not anymore. As from this moment forward, this is your new home. I know it's not necessarily as comfortable as you would like. But like I say, that trouble you caused requires compensation to be made. You dared to bring discomfort to my life and the lives of my associates. So you must learn that you reap what you sow. And now discomfort is all you shall know. So here's the deal. <laughs> Your boss, Trudy, remember her? Works for me. And now, so do you. You shall live and work here in this basement. And here you shall remain until I have achieved all I desire. Once I have all that I desire, then and only then will I consider allowing you to leave here. Oh my, my darling, a journalist of your caliber? And yet you still choose to use such profanities? <laughs> I suggest you shut your fucking mouth unless you want me to unleash my darker, more sadistic side. Would you like that? You know I have a fondness for blades. And I have always been able to work a bullwhip with the precision of a surgeon. <laughs> Good. I shall give you tonight to settle, in here, 
and become familiar with your new surroundings. But as of tomorrow, under my meticulous direction, you shall be putting your journalistic skills to good use. A chance for you to expose the corruption in those institutions that influence this city. You shall write what I dictate, and I shall have Trudy publish it on all media formats. Once your articles go viral, those who stand in my way will fall to their knees as their careers crash before their eyes. I shall destroy their reputations, and as they crumble beneath the pressure of public opinion, they will have no choice but to resign. And once they do, my agents will become the only option for this city. A new senator and a new police commissioner. Both reporting to me. <laughs> Dominion has been desperately craving a woman's touch. A mother's love. And fortunately for Dominion, I am capable of providing both. This city will be mine, and while the good people of Dominion City reap the rewards of this new order, I can continue to expand my empire without suspicion. I expect better from you. Clichés are for fools. When I play, I play to win. And I never lose. However, if you choose to continue to resist the inevitable and reject my offer, <laughs> well, let's just say that pretty girlfriend of yours might be persuaded to share your innermost secrets with the authorities. Oh, leave her out of this? <laughs> Did you honestly think she was into you? <laughs> Oh, darling, Saskia works for me. Your relationship with her was guided by my own hand. I know you so intimidately that all I had to do was to find a girl who could stomach your entourage and perversions. And the fact that she is the same size as me, <laughs> well... All those videos I made of our playtime have proven to be invaluable. Perhaps you are starting to regret your weakness for dominant women in moss. <laughs> and unfortunately for you, her sense of ambition means that all I have to do is call her an issue. The instruction. Within the hour, she will distribute copies of those videos to the police, and there will be a warrant for your arrest. Within 24 hours, they will be conveniently leaked to most of the major TV networks. At which point, I could choose whether to improve my social standing by handing you over to the police myself. Or, and this option is my preference, keep you safe and hidden away from prying eyes. Scandals occur every day, regardless of location. And with every scandal, opportunity knocks. And I could always use a talented supplicant. I may well be a bitch, as you say. However, unfortunately for you, I am the bitch who holds all the cards in this game.
Oh, trust is no longer an issue, darling. You should know by now that you can trust me to do exactly what is necessary to achieve all I desire. However, what is of the utmost importance is that the quicker you accept your fate and do as I command without hesitation, the easier your life will become. Failure is not an option, darling. Is that understood? I said, is that fucking understood? Good. Now that we have the formalities out of the way, why don't we seal the deal? Regardless of your words of defiance, I can see you still desire me, darling. I mean, just look at me. Such beauty, such elegance, such power. Even a saint could not resist my undeniable charisma. Speech is only 10% language. The remaining 90% tells me everything and the flesh is so very weak. So, how about a kiss for all time's sake? <laughs> it's okay. I expected foolish reluctance on your part, and besides, I love it when you struggle. It motivates me on a much deeper level. <laughs> Good little puppet, you're beginning to see sense. <laughs> How very sweet. But now, I have an urgent meeting to attend, so I shall have my guards keep an eye on you while I am away. I shall return to check on you tomorrow morning and issue you with your first assignment. Let's just say Police Commissioner Garrick and Senator Monroe's association with a certain Draculord could make an interesting read. Especially now that the deputy commissioner and the senator's assistant are keen to progress in their careers. <laughs> it does not matter whether the evidence is fake or not. What matters is the reaction to such news. People believe what they read, what they see and what they want. And you will give them what they want by giving me what I demand. The people want change, and I demand absolute power. All the odds are stacked in my favor. <laughs> I have instructed my guards to exercise some restraint. However, I like to reward initiative, especially when it brings positive results. And I imagine that by the time I return, you will have not only changed your mind, but you will display the kind of enthusiasm I expect from all my employees. Clock's ticking. Now, ciao, darling. Mwah. <laughs>